Hi everyone, today I'm going to go through how to put a rug on correctly. So this rug here, this is a combo rug, which means that the neck rug is attached to the rug itself. So the best way to throw these on is open the rug up and grab where the neck rug links onto the rug. Turning facing the back of the horse and throwing it up and over. Placing the rug in the correct position. When putting a rug on, you always want to make certain that you do the back leg stra straps up first and work from back to front. So that way, if your horse wasn't securely tied up and you're just feeding out in the paddock, which often happens, if you did the back leg straps up and your horse took off, the rug could then just slip off the back of the horse. However, if you do the front straps up first and your horse takes off, the rug can then twist around to the front of the horse. The horse can then have a fall. Firstly, your rug's gonna get absolutely trashed and ripped to smithereens. And secondly, you're gonna have an injured horse, possibly. Okay, so to avoid all of that, always make certain when putting a rug on, work back to front. When taking a rug off, work front to back. So we'll go down and we'll do the back leg strap. So when we do the leg straps up, always make certain you stand to the side so you avoid any chance of being kicked. Unclip, place around the back leg, clip back up, making certain that the clip faces into the horse. I'll demonstrate this later. Passing safely to the other side. This time, when we bring the second leg strap through, just loop it through your other leg strap and clip back up. Crossing the leg straps over prevents the rug from being able to slip from either side to side and getting <coughs> un unhooked from the horse's leg. And then again, once again, once that happens, the rug can then twist around in front of the horse and cause the problems that we went through earlier. So always make certain you cross the back leg straps. So the importance of always making sure that the clip goes in towards the horse and the round a bit facing the outside is easily demonstrated with these easy snap lock clips like this. So if it's done correctly, if the horse rubs up against, the back of it rubs up against the wire. However, if you have it facing out and off the off chance that your horse walks up and goes up against the fence like that, you are now attached. So this can cause a lot of harm to your horse because if the horse feels that it is stuck at any stage, they will do everything possible to get away from it, including kicking both back feet out through a fence. That is going to tear your horse's legs apart if they kick out through a fence. Okay, and again, once again, you're going to have another ripped rug. So to avoid any injury to your horse, always make certain the clips go that way so that they cannot clip onto a fence. So coming back to the front of the rug, we want to do the chest strap up. So I'll pull the neck rug back so we can cl clearly see this. So when we do it up, it's just a normal buckle. Once done up, we want to make certain that it fits correctly. So <clears throat> going with the seam, we want to make certain that that sits nicely just on top of this wither. If it falls back past his wither, which I'll demonstrate now, by putting on the last hole, making it way too big in the chest, if it comes past like that, what will happen is as he walks, this will cause his shoulders to move the rug, and that's going to rub backwards and forwards on his wither like that, and it will cause a massive sore here. So to avoid that, Make certain that you fit your rug accordingly. So the rug sits just in front of the shoulder line, resting at the top of the wither. Next, when we do the neck strap up, you want to make certain that your horse is able to put its head on the ground without being too tight around its neck. 
This neck rug is quite large and has plenty of room. So once done up, he's in there. You want to test that he can get down there. A little handful of loosen is fantastic to help you out with this. We might have to untie him first. Hey, big man. And getting him to go all the way down, making certain that that's not too tight on his neck. If you have a rug that tends to roll one way or the other, that can be adjusted through using your leg straps. So your leg straps can be adjusted through here. <clears throat> so you can either make them tighter by moving it that way or make them looser by moving them back that way. Okay. If you have a rug that is twisting this way, that means that this leg strap is tighter than the other one and it is pulling the rug this way. So sometimes by loosening this one off a little bit, it can help keep this rug straighter. Okay. Sometimes that needs to be worked with a couple of times to make certain that you've got it sitting nice and even. When measuring a horse to fit them for a rug, we measure from the middle of their chest all the way around right to the point of their battocks. Okay? That is measured in feet and inches. So you'll sometimes find rugs that are written in sort of odd sizes for what we would be used to, so such as five foot three or six foot or six foot six. Okay, that's what that means, is that from the middle of their chest right round to the point of their battocks is six foot or six foot three inches. Okay, so if you're unsure of what size to get your horse, grab a measuring tape out, measure them, and whichever size is closest, go to that one. Thanks.